Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And I'm about to go on a little mini thrift haul. And I know I told you all the other day that I am going to the bins, but I just have so much inventory. I am going just on a mini thrift haul. I can't just not thrift on my day off, so I'm gonna go do that. And I'm gonna go to some of these mom and pop thrift shops just because I've had some really good luck the last time that I went. But I will definitely bring you all along and wish me luck. These are a pair of Dansko clogs. They do have some wear on them, but I decided to pick them up because they're only $2.99. This is the brand Fresh Produce. I decided to pick it up for a good bread and butter brand. Love finding this brand, Barefoot Dreams, but the comps have gone down. So today I am decluttering my closet. I have decided to gather a ton of stuff that is has been in my death pile and I am going to attempt to sell it at Plato's Closet to see if they'll take any items and to see if I can get some kind of money for them. And then I'm gonna shop in the meantime while they look it over to see if I can find anything valuable to resell with that money that I'm getting from all this stuff. So if you're not familiar with Plato's Closet, it is a buy, sell, trade store. I don't have savers or what's the other one? Crosstowns, crossroads, crosstown, crossroads. So I don't have crossroads or is it crossroads? Is that also a Britney Spears movie? I don't know. But I will take you along with me and show you what I got. The last time I did this, I did get some money and I ended up spending more money at Plato's Closet and I'm still sitting on some of those items actually. So I do think that I'm a little bit more experienced now and I'm definitely going to check comps before I decide to purchase anything. It's very important that you're not just looking at the brand of, of the item. You have to look at the style, the size, is it gonna sell? Obviously the comps as well. Wish me luck and I'll definitely take you along with me and show you what I got after. This was the brand Fabletics. I couldn't believe that they marked these up to $25. Couldn't fathom spending that. This brand is Lisi. Never heard of it before, new to me brand. New with tags. I would definitely check comps on them. I'm kind of sad I left them behind. Aria is a great brand. Amazing sell theory. I was very happy to find them. Definitely didn't mind spending $20. I can probably get 50 to 60 for these. They're in pretty good condition. So definitely a good find there. And then they did not happen to mark up the brand Prana. They were $6. I left them behind just because they were nothing substantial. I found Lululemon and they were, I believe, marked at $20. I was looking at them for me, but I decided to leave them behind. Love finding the brand Judy Blue, but didn't want to spend $18, even though they were new with tags. The comps are just not there. Then that's a Lululemon bra. They wanted $25 for it. The brand Outdoor Voices is an amazing brand for outerwear. I picked it up because I wanted to wear it. I wanted to keep it for myself. Then this is the brand Girlfriend Collective. Very good sell through rate. Decided to pick them up. Well, I'm done with Plato's Closet. Unfortunately, it was a gigantic waste of time. So I brought in five full bags of clothing and they only took like a half a bag. Oh, what a gigantic waste of my day. So I was in a Plato's closet for probably about two hours. And mind you, it took me an hour to go through everything that I wanted to donate. So I had to carry these large bags back into my car. I'm just annoyed. It's all good. I did find a couple things that I was happy with, but pretty much a gigantic waste of time. Kevin's home he got a new PlayStation 5 so he was setting that up and I'm just gonna go home and I will meet you there stay tuned and I will see you back at the house all right I am back from thrifting and I will show you what I got so I've decided to actually combine two videos just because they are two very short thrift hauls so I did a short thrift haul on Friday and then I did one for Plato's Closet today so I'm just gonna 
show you both. <laughs> uh, so I'll show you the one that I did on Friday first. Okay. So my first item is a dress. It is the brand J Jill. And I've been very, very selective with J Jill lately, but the Love Linen line does very well. So this is a size medium dress. It's a, I guess it would be a midi dress. And it is, I believe, 100% linen. Yes. So it's 100% linen. And I believe the dresses were $6. So I paid $6 for this. I plan on listing it for about $25. My next item was this pair of Ralph Lauren jeans. And I wanna say they're vintage just because of the way that they taper, just the shape of them, I guess. So a lot of the vintage jeans are tapered at the waist and they kind of go out and then taper again. I want to say this is vintage and they are a size 38 by 30. They are the loose fit and they're a hundred percent cotton. So there. So I'm probably going to list these around 20 to 25 and I believe I paid around $3 for these. And they're in very good condition, except for a little bit of wear down here, which I could probably just wash that out. My next item is another Ralph Lauren piece. So this is a women's button up cardigan. And it, when I checked comps on this specific label, so it's Ralph Lauren Polo Sport, it did look like it was vintage and it looked like it had a really good sell through rate. So I'm probably gonna list this around $25. And I believe I paid around $3 for it. Okay, so my next find are a pair of these Dansko clogs and they were $2.99. They're a size 38. So I believe that's around a size eight. And they do have some of this it looks like a cutout sweater i guess but there is some wear on them on the backs too so i am wondering if i can just clean these and i apologize it's around mealtime for my dogs so they go a little a little nutty so i apologize for my crazy dogs but there is a little bit of wear here so i'll have to check comps on this exact style but i'm thinking i can get maybe 20 to 25 on these and if you watch my other videos, y'all know that I love picking up Crocs. So these at the local, good, uh, not Goodwill, the local thrift store were $1.99. And I plan on listing these for about 20 to 25 They're a men's 11. So it's a very good size. They're in very good condition. The thing I like about Crocs is they do have a pretty high sell-through rate. And they are very easy to clean. So just a black pair of Crocs. <laughs> My next item is the, this is the first time I picked up fresh produce and I picked it up. It's a size medium. It is a midi length, almost, I guess, three, four sleeve tropical dress. <laughs> it has little pockets and I picked it up because the comps looked pretty good. Looks like I can, I can get around 25 to 30 for this. And the material, oh, it's just 100% cotton. So nothing crazy, but this brand is supposed to do okay. It's supposed to be a good bread and butter piece. So I've definitely passed on this before. I've seen shirts by this brand, but I've never found a dress. And this looked pretty cute, in good condition. And I paid $3 for it. This is just for me. It's Columbia it was $3. It's a size small. I really like these rash guards for the boat and it's a pretty, I like the color and I didn't see any wear on it. It was basically new without tags. I didn't see anyone, any stains, any holes or anything like that. 
So I don't know where the other one is, but this is also Crocs and it's got some weird tape on it so I can get that off. But these are a woman's size nine and I plan on listing them for about $20. My next find are for me. These are just Steve Madden and let's see, there we go. And they are just some wedge sandals. So those are for me, I'm not selling them. I tried them on, they fit perfectly, so. So I'm gonna put the footage of me thrifting uh, in Play-Dohs. So I put most of the stuff back just because I was just over it. I was just over that I didn't really get any money. So I got a total of, I think, $30 for a couple items that they decided to keep, but most of the bags that I brought in, I brought in five full bags. They said that their inventory was full and I'm just looking in, through their clothing and a lot of the stuff is Walmart brand or Target brand or, you know, I know that they go based on style, but there's a lot of stuff that I was surprised that they sold at Play-Doh. So I don't know if it's just, it was just the wrong time to come in with all my stuff, but um, my first item I actually picked up for myself. I thought these leggings were super cute. They kind of reminded me of Lily Pulitzer. And I don't know if they're Lily Pulitzer because the tag was removed, but they were, uh, I think they were $6 and they got a little scrunchy booty. So I like that. I already tried them on and they fit. So I'll definitely be keeping these. So I thought they were cute. I could do Google Lens and see if they're Lily Pulitzer, but probably not. They don't feel substantial quality or anything like that. So I did see a bunch of Lily Pulitzer, but I just kind of passed on it just because everything was so marked up. I mean, even Fabletics, a lot of the Fabletics leggings were $25 and it's just crazy. I find a lot of Fabletics at the bins that I pay less than a dollar for. So it was just a little bit crazy for me. My next find, I've only found this brand one other time and I actually ended up keeping the leggings. So the brand is Girlfriend Collective. And they're size medium. They are high rise. They got the media pockets on the side. And they look to be either 7 8 or full length. They're a very bright orange. So I will have to check comps on this just because I'm not incredibly familiar with the brand. I do know that it does well. So I'm not sure what I'll list these for. I'm guessing maybe around $25 hopefully. And I paid $8. So after everything, so I got $30 back and then I ended up paying $13. So, but I did get to keep one thing for me. So that's not bad. But yeah, I, I only picked up, let's see, one, two, four items. So we're coming up to the end already. But hopefully you, you did see some really good brands that I was looking at. So this is another one that I just decided to pick up because I was thinking about wearing it, but I already put it on and it's too tight. So <laughs> the brand is Outdoor Voices. So I wouldn't actually recommend that you get their sports bra because it doesn't go for a lot and the selfie rate isn't that good. But I thought it was cute. I was excited to find the brand. But if you find coats by Outdoor Voices or any of their uh, leggings or pants or outerwear, that does really well. But I didn't see any, I didn't see, there's a bug. <laughs> I didn't see any uh, really great comps for Outdoor Voices. There we go. Outdoor Research is another brand that does really well. I sold a coat. It was a very vibrant lime green coat and it had stains all over it. I found it at the bin. Somebody had thrown it back and I decided to get it anyways and it sold super quick for a decent amount. I want to say maybe $30. So I'm thinking I could list this for maybe $20. I paid six. I'm not doing Plato's Closet anymore, just FYI. I mean, in my area at least, it's I just haven't had good luck and they don't take any of my stuff hardly ever. So I am definitely not counting on Plato's Closet anymore. But these were exciting. So these are Ariat boots and they're known for their Western or cowboy boots. 
and that's what their logo looks like right there. So these are a woman's size nine. I paid $20 for them. So I looked up exact comps and they were going for about $50. So hopefully I make a $20 profit on them. But so that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I know I promised that I would go to the bins. I think from now on, I'm going to stick to the bins. So please keep watching my videos. If you like this content, please remember to hit like and subscribe. I very much appreciate it. Have a happy Thanksgiving.